Prince Harry said talking about his grief for Princess Diana helped him to cope with her loss, as King Charles and Prince William took part in Remembrance Sunday in Britain. The royal family gathered with the great and good of British society at the Cenotaph in London to pay respects to the country's war dead. Kate Middleton and Camilla, the Queen Consort, watched the ceremony while Charles and William, both wearing military uniforms, laid wreaths. Before his royal exit, Prince Harry would have been alongside them laying his own in acknowledgement not only of the fallen soldiers from the Great Wars but also those who died alongside him in Afghanistan, where he served on the front line. Since relocating to America, the Duke of Sussex has not been able to attend in person, but has found ways to pay tribute to the military community that is so fundamental to his relationship with the U. K. This year, he did so through Charity Scotty's Little Soldiers, which supports children who lost a parent from the armed forces community. He spoke of a shared bond owing to the fact he too had lost a parent. Harry's words about his mother, Diana, appeared heartfelt and made no direct reference to the crown. However, they came at a time when the disintegration of her marriage to King Charles III has been recreated in season 5 of the Netflix series. Producers also took a risk in recreating the famous BBC interview in which she spoke about his affair with Camilla, even after it was denounced by Prince William due to the subterfuge of the journalist who secured it. In a letter to children helped by the charity, Harry wrote, One of the ways I've learned to cope has been through community and talking about my grief, and I couldn't be more grateful and relieved that you have amazing people walking beside you throughout your journey. We all know some days are harder than others, but together those days are made easier. Today and every day, I admire and respect all the men and women who have given their lives in service of us, especially those in your family. Charles may also have found himself spending the day thinking about his parents as this is the first year that Remembrance Sunday has taken place without at least some question over whether Queen Elizabeth II would make the commemorations. In 2021, it was a month after the health scare that first signaled the beginning of the end of her reign. In October, Elizabeth pulled out of a visit to Northern Ireland after an undisclosed medical problem and went on to cancel a series of other high-profile events, including an appearance at COP26. By November, there was still talk of her appearing in some form on Remembrance Sunday until a back sprain rendered that plan out of the question. Buckingham Palace said at the time, the Queen, having sprained her back, has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. Her Majesty is disappointed that she will miss the service. This year, Charles marked Remembrance as King for the first time just more than two months after his mother died on September 8. Charles also celebrated his birthday on November 14, and the royal family's official Twitter feed posted, wishing His Majesty the King a very happy birthday today. In a month's time, he will have his first Christmas without Elizabeth and will give the annual televised speech in her place. During Elizabeth's last Christmas Day broadcast, her own grief clearly weighed heavy on her mind as she spoke movingly about the death of her husband, Prince Philip, saying, Life of course consists of final partings as well as first meetings and as much as I and my family miss him I know he would want us to enjoy Christmas. For Charles, this time not only consists of a tension between celebration and grief, but also sits against the backdrop of a fierce debate in Britain over the Crown's portrayal of his reign. Former Prime Minister John Major and actress Dame Judi Dench are among those to criticize the show's depiction of the King, while others have pointed out much of its content draws closely from real life. Diana, played by Elizabeth Debicki, is seen fearing for her safety as her brakes fail leaving her narrowly avoiding a car crash in the years before her death. 
and post-divorce, the princess tells her doctor boyfriend Haznat Khan that the royals are not so unlike the traditional values of his Pakistani family after she had to make a virginity vow before being considered fit to marry Charles. The palace may well want to keep an eye on the polls as the last time a new season of The Crown was released in November 2020, the percentage of British people who thought he would make a good king dropped five points within a month, according to YouGov. In two months, Harry will release the memoir, Spare, in which he will tell his life story, with all eyes on whether he will return to criticisms made in his March 2021 Oprah Winfrey interview. Prince Harry's letter to Scotty's Little Soldiers in full to all of Scotty's Little Soldiers, as many of us observe and reflect on Remembrance Sunday, I wanted to write to you and let you know you are all in my thoughts and heart today. We share a bond even without ever meeting one another, because we share in having lost a parent. I know firsthand the pain and grief that comes with loss and want you to know that you are not alone. While difficult feelings will come up today as we pay tribute to heroes like your mom or dad, I hope you can find comfort and strength in knowing that their love for you lives and shines on. Whenever you need a reminder of this, I encourage you to lean into your friends at Scotty's Little Soldiers. One of the ways I've learned to cope has been through community and talking about my grief, and I couldn't be more grateful and relieved that you have amazing people walking beside you throughout your journey. We all know some days are harder than others, but together those days are made easier. Today and every day, I admire and respect all the men and women who have given their lives in service of us, especially those in your family.